A spokesperson of the National Chief Imam, Sheikh Arumi al Sharbotu, says Muslims could take part in the National Day of Fasting and Prayer despite restrictions on public gathering. He told my colleague Aisha Yakubo, uh, this is the time to invoke Allah's grace to ease the difficult times. Fasting itself is also a kind of devotion that is undertaken at individual levels. And truly, as we are fasting now, we are doing it at individual levels. And it's a very secret kind of devotion. If you fast and you don't tell anybody, nobody knows that you are fasting. Except that because today's one is a collective one, everybody assumes that we are all fasting. But our individual levels, we do so as part of our devotion to God. And, and so the, the restriction on assembly will not affect us. Um, we shall be doing our prayers at our family levels or at a very small um, group levels. For example, three people uh, can meet somewhere, or in a family of five or, 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 or less, uh, can have their meeting and dedicate themselves to prayer. And when we fast, we embark upon different formulas of devotion, i.e. it can include the recitation of the Holy Quran, because in the Quran, as God has told us, it's a revelation of what is a cure and a compassion for those who believe in it. So we believe that we are able to read the Quran to invoke God's mercy and forgiveness and His grace and, and beneficence. It's not wrong in our religion, but that because we also fast on Thursdays and Mondays, the chief Imam saw wisdom in extending it to Thursday also. So in addition to today's fasting, we are also fasting um, tomorrow.